ocean occupies more than 70% of our Earth's crust. It's amazing how very little we know about the world beneath the waves. Some incredible creatures can be viewed in the deep waters while on a sailboat, kayak, snorkeling, scuba diving, or diving adventure. Others are only available to see in museums or aquariums. Some are discovered at such extreme depths that they can only be seen on live or archive film footage. Seeing these odd species in any event is evidence that our planet is unique. Here are some of the strangest sea animals ever discovered on the planet. We can't believe these water critters aren't from outer space because they look weird. All of these creatures, believe it or not, can be spotted right here on Earth. In this video, we'll be discussing 10 bizarre creatures that look like they're not real. Before starting, make sure to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to never miss new video updates. Number 10. Terrible Claw Lobster The species is so unique that it was not only classified as a new species, but was also assigned to a new genus, Dinochelus. Dinochelus combines the Greek word dinos, which means terrible, and kela, which means claw, referring to the giant massive claw. They usually live on islands or in the sea, where it is simple to eat what they require to live. This lobster is also a very unusual species due to its physical traits and rarity. Yet, they are not the rarest of the lobster family, and you only have to look in the correct spots to locate them. This monster was identified 850 feet below sea level off the Philippine coast in 2007. It's completely blind and only an inch long, so its toothed claws may be the only thing that scares it. Number 9. Halitrephus Marsi Jellyfish The Halitrephus Marsi Jellyfish is a vividly colored sea creature in the eastern Pacific Ocean and is hardly seen by people. So what's the reason behind its vibrant palette? The canals that transport minerals through the jellyfish's structure make this spectacular display possible. This jellyfish species' frilled tentacles are so light that they practically appear to be floating beside the jellyfish's body, giving them the appearance of streaking bursts on the outside of a firework. In addition, radial tubes run through the creature's midsection, allowing it to circulate nourishment through its body. Because of its transparency, this jellyfish would be practically undetectable if no lights were shining on it while it swam throughout the ocean depths. Number 8. Gulper Eel The Gulper Eel, scientifically known as Uripharynx pelicanoids, is one of the bottom sea's stranger species. The huge mouth is its most distinguishing feature. This massive mouth dwarfs the entire eel's body. The mouth is flexibly movable and can open wide enough to consume an animal several times its size. The unfortunate fish is then put into a pouch-like lower jaw that looks like a pelican's. Despite its reputation and eel-like look, the gulper eel isn't a true eel. It's a different sort of fish. Apart from their terrifying teeth, gulper eels, which live in the sea depths of up to 10,000 feet, have one unique feature, bioluminescence. The stomach of a gulper can also extend to handle huge meals. Number 7. Clown Frogfish the clown frogfish is a deep-water frogfish that relates to the Antenneridae family. The clown frogfish dwells among coral and can conceal itself. However, it takes weeks to change its appearance. Clown frogfish can shift color and pigmentation variations in a couple of weeks, blending in with the surroundings and even turning plain white during coral bleaching episodes. On the other hand, the primary color shifts from white to black, forming relative concentrations with dark, circular spots or saddle. Because it has a large enough mouth to eat anything of its size, you might observe one of these brightly colored fish munching on prey up to 5.9 inches long. Number 6. Leafy Sea Dragon This may appear to be a strand of kelp, but it's a leafy sea dragon found off Australia's southern and western coasts. They're known as leafies and are South Australia's maritime symbol. While their cool-looking fins appear to drive the sea dragon through the water, they are just used for concealment. Leafy sea dragons are strongly connected to seahorses and pipefish and are only found in the waters off the coast of South and East Australia. Other creatures may prey on them, but this is unknown. Divers who want to keep them as pets, on the other hand, typically take them. In fact, by the early 1990s, such takings had decreased their numbers to the point where the Australian government had declared the species extinct. Number 5. Blob Sculpin the deepwater analog of Grumpy Cat, the blob sculpin, is a terrible fish that resides in very deep water in both the North Pacific and the Bering Sea. They're carnivorous, despite their squishy appearance. Invertebrates such as sea worms, crabs, and gastropod mollusks are their main food sources. 
however they appear to be more normal in the ocean's depths. They have huge faces and jaws and are grayish in hue. They are also coated in tiny fleshy threads called cirri that run over their bodies. The significant difference in pressure causes their gray hue to turn pink and their facial shape to transform as they are pulled in. Sculpins fan their eggs to keep them clear of sand, which is unusual for deepwater fish, known for being a little more lenient with their young. Number 4. Sea Pen Although sea pens exist in various shapes, sizes, and colors, each colony and species has a central stem, known as the rachis, that anchors and supports the remainder of the colony. The rachis is a type of polyp that grows into an upright stalk. It sheds all of its tentacles and grows a bulbous root that anchors the colony to the sea floor. This stalk, or rachis, can be over a meter long in some species. The skeleton of most sea pens is formed of calcium carbonate and runs the animal's length. The other polyps branch from the central rachis and are employed for feeding, sucking in water, and reproduction. Not all sea pens resemble traditional quill pens, despite their name. Some species don't have the feather-like structure, but instead resemble clubs, umbrellas, or pinwheels. Number 3. Northern Stargazer because this strong fish has a unique organ immediately behind its eyes that emits an electric shock that it uses to defend itself, handling it should be done with caution. It's evolved to spend most of its existence buried in sand, preparing to ambush and devour its prey whole. Its eyes, gill slits, nose, and the majority of its mouth are located on the top of its body, and its pectoral fins are capable of digging and burying. When prey glides by, Stargazer can quickly spring up and grab it because it is hidden like this. It's a dark blackish-brown fish with white markings on the head and body and striped fins that can reach over 22 inches in length. Number 2. Red Handfish Anglerfish, known as handfish, have specialized fins that mimic human hands and use them to walk around the sea floor instead of swim. These fish are usually only a few centimeters long. The red handfish is not only an odd-looking species, but it also has an odd style of moving around. It is regarded to be one of the world's rarest fish. Until this year, it was thought that there were only 20 to 40 of them left in the world. Pollution, extra nutrients, rising waters, and interactions with urchins and their enemies affect their unique seaweed environment, putting them at risk of extinction. Invasive species and collection for the aquarium trade are further possible risks. Number 1. Vampire Squid The vampire squid can be found at 2,000 to 3,000 feet in the ocean. It gets its name from its webbing, which it can flip inside out and use to conceal itself, much like a vampire's black shroud. It has soft spines on its webbing as well. If the vampire squid becomes irritated sufficiently, it will spray blue bioluminescent mucus from its arm tips to confuse predators and allow it to escape into the night. The vampire squid is a one-of-a-kind creature that scientists have divided into its category. Like many of its relatives, the vampire squid has eight arms and two tentacles. It does not allow or drink blood and instead receives its name from the black color of its skin and the cape-like skin that joins the arms. These are some of the most bizarre sea creatures we have heard of. What are your suggestions on these? Do you know any more such weird creatures? Let us know in the comment section. Please leave a like and subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed the video. Also, if you want to get updated about our newest videos, click the notification bell to never miss one. Stay tuned to this channel till the next video, and until then, See you soon.